Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Something last night happened organically on Monday Night Raw. And it wasn't the fact that it's the return of Nia Jax, which, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing. I kind of knew it was coming, but... I absolutely love Nia Jax being back inside the WWE. I know there's a lot of mixed reactions on that. I know there's people that hate her being back. I also know there's people that love her. My opinion falls into the category that loves Nia Jax being back. But I want to talk about this group right here. And Larry, Curly, and Moe of the Three Stooges. I don't mean it as an insult. You got Chad Gable, who's the leader. You got Curly right here, who's the funny... Everybody loves, probably everybody's favorite. And then you got Larry, who he was going bald. In, yeah, he was bald in the show. He's Tommaso Ciampa Hill. What's happened organically is this very simple thing. One of these three men is going to be the next Intercontinental Champion. Now, Chad Gable had the opportunity didn't succeed. I believe he'll get another opportunity and fail. So it comes down to Tommaso Ciampa was going to come down to Otis. Now, I have a very strong suspicion that WWE is probably going to, is probably pushing for Tommaso Ciampa to be your next Intercontinental Champion. But the WWE Universe and the fans that I could hear last night during the match that they had, the, 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 the six-man tag match they had last night, the fans were solely behind. Oh, yeah. Otis. And I don't blame them. Otis has always been able to strike a chord with the WWE Universe. From the moment that he was introduced onto the main roster to now, all these years later, to when he won the Money in the Bank, which everybody was ecstatic about, and they would take it off of him, put it on The Miz. He would join up with Chad Gable, become the Alpha Academy. Everyone... Everyone has always loved Otis. And last night, there was no difference. And I mean, in all honesty, why not have Otis be the guy to dethrone such a serious wrestler and competitor and that being Gunther? I mean, the storyline is really there. He is the most unlikely candidate out of the three of these, not counting Maxine, but out of the three... Of these guys standing up here, he's the one that is should be the most unlikely one to win in a continental title. But if he would be the one to do it, he would have the backing of the fans. Now, I don't think he'd be a long champion. I think he would win it and hold it for about a month or two. What I think is going to happen, though, the storyline one of you get is Chad Gable will go against Gunther again, will fail. Then it will be Otis go against Gunther and somehow fail. And then Tommaso Ciampa will be the one to unthrone, to dethrone Gunther. And this can happen anywhere about Survivor Series or Royal Rumble-ish. I'm being a little bit more serious today, I know. But it's something that was very surreal to me. Now, I think, in my personal opinion, and who am I, it should go Chad Gable then Tommaso Ciampa, then Otis. And Otis be the one to dethrone. Because there's no offense against Tommaso Ciampa. He has a little bit of an injury history. He hasn't really gotten over since being on the main roster. And that's not, a lot of that's no fault to his own. When he came over, Vince McMahon completely tried to change his persona from where he was, changed his entrance music, made him the second fiddle to The Miz. Made him a heel right off the gate when he should have been a babyface right out the gate. So it's not that I don't believe that Tommaso Ciampa is championship material. It's just right now I feel like why not give it to the big guy? Why not give it to somebody who I can relate to? A blue collar-esque worker at one time. And give it to Otis. Go from such a serious wrestler and give it to a funny fan favorite wrestler. Who, in my honest opinion, he deserves to have one title reign. I was really hoping it was going to be Chad Gable, but I really, really 
am supportive and hoping that WWE sees this video and goes, you know what? He's right. Let's give it. Listen to the audience last night. Listen to the audience compared to when Tommaso Ciampa was in the ring and when Otis would hit the ring. The crowd went nuts for Otis when he was tagged into the match. People absolutely love him. Does he have a lot in his arsenal? No. I'm not saying he's going to be the best in the kind of champion of all time. What I'm suggesting is that he's going to be a, a great option to get the belt off of Gunther. 